player Give me some brew and I might just chill But I'm the type to light a light another joint like Cypress Hill I still do be spit loogies when I pump Alright, my name is Schuster and I'm back with another pickup. This is a DH Gate pickup and this is a 2018 uh, Jordan Concords with the 45 on the back. And I got these from a different seller. I'll leave their name down below. And this is probably the best of the cheapest quality is what I'll say. Because the shoe do, does have some flaws on them but for the price you can't beat it. It's a a lot better than getting the $50 pair. This is maybe a step up from that. Because it's definitely not the best quality, but they're okay for the price. So this is the box it comes in. So get the label there. Let's see if we can read it. It's focusing in. Got the colorway there, the size, the name of the shoe, and the suggested retail. And this does come off. So you can see if that's correct or not. I don't have a retail pair to compare it to. But if you do, feel free to comment down below if you see any differences. It's got Nike Air there. The box did come beat up. And here's the top of the box. Underneath is just the normal Nike logos and things down there. Inside it's no stickers or stamps or anything. The box is torn here from the corner. Nothing in there. Inside they came with these little inserts they were in the shoe. Little ankle inserts. And they came with shoe trees, the Concords. It's got black paper in there with that green sticker. What is it? Let me read what it says. I guess this is YDM or YCM. It's got like a little leaf on it. I don't know what that means or what it's supposed to mean. It's got the black paper, nothing else in the box. So here's the shoe, and like I said, they do have flaws, but for the price, you, you really can't beat it. It's around a hundred dollars, give or take, depending on if you use coupons or you get any kind of a discount from the seller, which I always do. I always ask for one, and sometimes they'll give you one, and sometimes they won't, depending on how many pairs you buy. So here's the back of the shoe. And everything looks good on them. There's no big, big flaws in them. Just minor stuff. It's got the 45 on the back. And I think they should have stitched this in like the Space Jams were. Because this is going to peel off and it's going to crack and peel off over time. Like the old school Concords did. Get a close up look at it. Yeah, so you can see there's some threading sticking out from here. You can cut that off if you want. But personally, I'm gonna just leave the shoe alone because I bought these to wear. They're not gonna be looking pretty in the collection on the shelf or anything. I bought these straight, strictly for wearing. You can look at the carbon fiber there. It is carbon fiber. It's not plastic. And I think that's why the that's mainly what you're paying for with this shoe is is that carbon fiber plate because like I said the quality is not the best on this shoe and we'll get into some of that in a minute I just want to show you some flaws real quick here's one with the crooked jump man his leg is a little crooked there and the leather is grainy it is grainy leather but it's like really light and it's hard to see it on the camera but it's there and there's no exposed stitching that I can see around the 45 area here. The ballistic mesh is nice on this shoe. It's got the high cut patent leather all around. And this is another flaw here is this. It's not supposed to have this bump on the front. It's supposed to have like a, a slant down. And you can see it there's 
It's not supposed to look like that. See how noticeable that is in the front? And I'm pretty sure you can fix that with some heat, but and like I said, I'm not going to be doing any fixes on this shoe. So here's the tag on the third lacing space there. It's Air Jordan with the purple uh, Jumpman in the middle. It's got thick laces. And there's a part of the laces that have stains on them. And one is, uh, it's got a little fray on it. So that was another flaw with the shoe. Inside of the shoe, this is another flaw here. It doesn't have enough padding on the inside. It feels really thin. And I don't know if it's supposed to be like that because my authentic Concords and even my beater pair that I have here have uh, real thick padding. Let me get one to show you from my everyday pair that I wear. This is my old pair that I use every day. And you can see how thick the padding is in there. Let me get a light. Okay, look how thick that padding is around there. You can definitely see it. Now look at this one. See the difference in how thin it is? And like I said, I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. I highly doubt it. But that's the way the padding is on the, the tongue here too. It's really thin. It doesn't feel like there's any padding at all inside of it. So just be aware of those flaws there. And here's the shoe on the, the outsole. It's got a little bit of a blue tint. It's not too bad. But that'll it'll wear off after a few wears. Like my Spider-Mans, they were like that. They had a blue tint to them, and now they're you're starting to yellow. So it comes off. It doesn't, it's not permanent. Now we can get a look at the inside of the shoe here. I undid this, I unlaced this one a little bit so you can see the inside. Where it's got Nike Air right there on the insole, which is correct. But it's missing the little registered trademark. It's supposed to be under the N and on the side of the E there. And if you don't know what that is, uh, I got a picture of one on the right here. See a little R right there? That's what should be on the insole. It should have one here and one there where that one is. So that's just another little flaw, but like I said, that should be there. It's not not a deal breaker because that'll usually come off after a wear or two anyway. And that's pretty much all the flaws I see. I don't really see any more. You can see the bottom, the pods are lined up correctly. Here, here, and here, there's not anything too crazy looking. Traction pad looks, looks good on them. Midsoles look good. There's no crooked shoe or anything. Let me line them up uh, side by side along the back so you can see if there's anything wrong with them. Let me adjust the camera. Can see if you see anything wrong with them. Well, like I said, everything lines up correctly. I think this one's a little bit off by maybe a centimeter or two. This one's right on there. And behind the tongue, the tag looks okay. I mean, this there is not falling off or anything. It's sewn on there correctly. Uh, the size tag in there looks okay. It's like way down up in there. Kind of hard to see. It's like right there. And let's look at the jump man on this one. Let me zoom in a little bit here. This one looks a little better than the other one. But at least it's facing the right way. Because I've seen a couple pairs of these of the lower quality where it's facing this way. 
And I think my old pair is like that. Yeah, this one's facing the correct way. I think the other one is facing the wrong way. See, like that. Yeah, so that's one of the reasons why I don't really wear these anymore. I might have to change this to a 23. But yeah, this is going to be my new pair from now on. And overall, they're pretty good. It's just, uh, like I said, the flaws are minor. Oh, I forgot to show you the toe caps. They look okay, too. It's not too crazy. Yeah, so anyway, if uh, you're interested in them... Like I said, the, the Sutter's name will be down below. And uh, definitely, if you can get them cheaper to come down on the price a little bit, they're definitely worth it. But uh, if not, you can always go with a higher quality or even uh, pay resale on the retail. Which is something I don't like doing because I wouldn't pay $300 for these. Anymore. I didn't even want to pay $220 when they dropped, but I tried to get them and I couldn't get them. So I went with these. And uh, that's pretty much the review, so I'll catch you on the next one.